What if the most groundbreaking image in human history didn't come from Hubble, James Webb, or Perseverance but from an old probe? Voyager 1, now over 14 billion miles from Earth, has sent a new image from the edge of the solar system. No one expected this photograph from a probe launched 46 years ago to change the way we see the cosmos. The picture came quietly from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory during Voyager 1's trip through the HELOPAUSE. The helipause is where the solar wind from our sun ends, and interstellar space begins. At first, the image looked like static noise, just green and purple pixels scattered over a black background. But experts at JPL and ESA used machine learning tools to filter and rebuild the faint frame. Suddenly, filaments appeared, stretching across the view like cosmic tendrils glowing in the dark. This was not the old, pale blue dot. This was something new, strange, and luminous near the stars. The lines looked like magnetic field structures, maybe even interstellar dust streams entering our neighborhood. The scene had changed since 2012, the last time Voyager looked at this region. The brightness matched spikes in plasma waves and cosmic ray flux from the instruments on board. This isn't a still photo, it shows dynamic activity between two star systems. Voyager 1's cameras, thought to be too old, just captured something once believed to be invisible. With updated software, NASA woke the imaging system for a final shot before the probe goes silent in the void. Each exposure lasted up to four hours, stitched together with custom filters from JPL. This image is a visual of the HELOPAUSE itself, now turned into a mystery for scientists. So what is it that we are actually seeing in this deep space photo? One idea, interstellar magnetic filaments, shaped by the sun's field merging with galactic forces. Dr. Leila Marino from Chicago suggests charged particles spiral along these lines as Voyager moves through space. Another thought from Cornell, it could be charged dust grains glowing from solar wind collisions. Or possibly something more radical, dark matter interaction triggered by the strong magnetic fields. Dr. Amara Oay proposes axion-like particles converting into light when hitting these fields in deep space. Theories differ, but all rely on real physics and Voyager's live data from the border of the system. Top journals like Nature Astronomy are publishing papers, this is not just hype but serious research. Then something even weirder appeared in the pixels, a hexagonal pattern, repeating with near-perfect precision. Hexagons are rare but do exist, like Saturn's pole, but never before at the solar boundary. These shapes were aligned not with the magnetic field, but with Voyager's spin axis, which adds more mystery to the structure. Maybe it's a result of the probe's motion, or maybe it's a real plasma formation that was previously unknown. No current model of the HELOPAUSE predicts large-scale hexagons on this level. It might be a cluster of reconnection islands, small regions where magnetic lines break and rejoin. Imagine a cosmic honeycomb spreading across billions of miles, it feels more like science fiction. Some have proposed truly wild theories, what if these are artificial structures built by aliens? Maybe MEGASTRUCTURES designed to control or collect energy from plasma flows in interstellar space. There's zero hard proof, but the consistent pattern across exposures has fans buzzing on forums. Others think this is the first real look at quantum vacuum effects becoming visible due to field overlaps. The hexagons could be quantum resonance patterns, forming due to the sharp contrast at the boundary. One last bold idea, it's a glitch, a visual bug in a simulation, evidence we might be in a virtual universe. Dr. Nguyen Tran suggests the image is like a rendering floor in a cosmic video game. Whether real or illusion, the shapes are too clear to ignore, they raise huge questions in astrophysics. Then ESA's New Horizons team stepped in, using their own enhancement techniques on Voyager's data. They uncovered a second filament, faint and wider, tilted exactly 60 degrees from the first. It seemed like an error, maybe a lens flare, but it held up in multiple data passes. The new shape was real, confirmed by layers of analysis over Voyager's field of view. When they mapped both filaments, 12 radial lines emerged, like the spokes of a cosmic wheel.
One set was bright and narrow, the other broad and dim, like twin harmonics from a vibrating drum. This pattern covered 80 degrees of the image field, turning it into what looked like a giant clock face. The angles were exact, the alignments clean, too regular to be random noise. ESA researchers think this might be M-A-G-N-E-T-O-H-Y-D-R-O-D-Y-N-A-M-I-C resonance, a kind of plasma ringing at the edge of space. The solar wind may not just collide and stop, it could oscillate, creating patterns like ripples on a pond. It's like the solar system has a heartbeat, one ESA physicist said, captured faintly in this image. No existing model, not the Parker spiral, not Voyager's expected path, predicted these spokes. It may mean the termination shock and H-E-L-I-O-S-H-E-A-T-H are more deeply linked to galactic fields than we thought. This discovery could rewrite our understanding of how our sun interacts with the rest of the galaxy. And more deeply, it hints that the solar system doesn't fade quietly, it might actually sing. From plasma filaments to hexagonal grids, to the strange C-L-O-C-K-L-I-K-E spokes, Voyager 1 keeps surprising. It's not just a probe, it's a messenger from the final edge of the known solar system. With just 68 kilobytes of memory and a weak 23-watt transmitter, it's still delivering cosmic treasure. Old missions don't lose value, they gain power when paired with new tools and fresh ideas. Noise we ignored in 2012 is now a readable message in 2025, pulled from the darkness. We aren't flying blind into space anymore, we are seeing it with new eyes. We now have direct photographic evidence of our place in the galactic map. Particles from our sun now meet particles from others, waves clash, fields fold, and new phenomena arise.